Hi, welcome to Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. Uh, today we're taking a trip outside of Japan and going to probably the most wonderful country in the world for beer, and that is Belgium. And uh, so I, I do review Japanese beers, Japanese craft beers, but not exclusively. Uh, when I find something else uh, that looks interesting, I will pick it up and I will review it. And today is such a day. Uh, the beer we're going to look at is from Belgium, and it's called La Guillotine. And it's from brewery, and I'm going to mangle the pronunciation, maybe cut it off at the head. Uh, Hugue, H-U-Y-G-H-E, La Guillotine. And this is a Belgian ale, a strong pale Belgian at 8.5%. Um, I recall having this long time ago, but I haven't seen it for a while, and so when I did see it in the store, I thought, well, I'll pick this up and uh, give it a go. Um, so the brewery apparently has been going since uh, 1654, as it says right here, and uh, on Rate Beer it has uh, 1,107 ratings, and the average score is 3.37, 60 percentile for all beers on Rate Beer, and 59 percentile for its style, which is Belgian ale, strong pale Belgian ale. On tap, there are 53,740 separate ratings, and the average score is 3.58, so a few ticks higher than the rate beer rating. Uh, this beer claims on the back it has uh, a triple fermentation, and the ingredients include barley uh, water, barley malt, wheat, oats and hops and yeast as well. So, um, uh, beers of this type, uh, I mean, there are a number of them, uh, Belgian beers you can find around that uh, have a, you know, like Delirium Tremens, for example, uh, 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 you know, that give you the image of, of something so strong that you're going to, you know, really have a, an incredible, wild, freaky experience with them. Uh, and I think this one here, perhaps the idea is you're going to need a guillotine in the morning for your hangover, something like that. In any case, shall we give this a go? I recall having this before, but it's been a long, long, long time. La guillotine. And if you're not aware, the guillotine, of course, was the... Uh, uh, method of choice for executing people during the French uh, French Revolution, and I think it was still used up until a few years ago in some places. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm putting this into the dual glass, and it is a nice medium blonde uh, with a fluffy two fingers kind of spongy head. You see the carbonation is rather extreme coming off the bottom there. A little whirlwind of carbonation. Okay, the aroma. Okay. It does have definitely a Belgian yeasty aroma. It kind of reminds me of uh, Chimay White, which is also a strong, pale, golden ale. Mmm, <clears throat> yeah very pleasant kind of light esters coming up very yeasty flavors kind of similar uh, pretty concentrated malt rather thick kind of stone fruitiness A bit sweet through mid palate. The hops come in and it blends nicely. Uh, certainly a hit of alcohol in mid palate, a bit of warmth from that. Uh, yeah, with this carbonation, it kind of foams up in the mouth and the flavors tend to kind of expand uh, as you go through the drinking process. This is this is not bad. Uh, it's just not it's not terribly complex. Uh, uh, the flavors do have a slight change in mid palate, but uh, not an exceptional one. And it, it goes from kind of stone fruitiness to light 
almost kind of sour, sour tinged fruitiness in mid palate. And the hops do pick up a bit through the end. It finishes kind of flat out with a bit of alcohol tingling warmth on the tongue, and that is it. So this is not, not bad at all. It's not an exceptional beer. Um, the rate beer average was 3.37. I think I could probably, probably give this about a 3.4 maybe, uh, uh, which is, you know, not a terribly high rating for a, a Belgian beer, but in any case. Um, so uh, you may want to give this a go if you happen to see it in your store here. Again, it's called uh, uh, La Guillotine. 8.5% Belgian strong ale, pale, golden, and uh, yeah, give it a go. Anything from Belgium, you should give a try. Uh, even, you know, something like, uh, you know, Stella Artois or something like that, uh, you know, all the way up to uh, West Berlater, and you should give them all a try. It's, it's uh, quite the amazing country for uh, good beer in the world. That's it for today. Take care. Stay healthy. Bye-bye.